Welcome to the first day of the English Championship. Beautifully said by Renato Paratori. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Hanbury Manor. It's a tricky little course, it has to be said, here in Hertfordshire. Rasmus Hoygaard. Can he finish with a birdie? Oh. <laughs> he certainly can. Winner back in 1998, Lee Westwood. This is a birdie putt at the par 5, 12. Finding the bottom of the hole, that would see him round in 66, five under par. And talking of youngsters, Thomas Dietrich finished second last week, so close to winning. Birdie putt here at the eighth, nicely hold. Would move on to shoot 64 at the end of the day. Look here at David Howe, second to the 15th. Been around a long time. I reckon he was the best putter in the world from 10 feet and under at one point. I would absolutely agree with you, Boxy. Oh, Not hang too on. bad with the irons either. Need a set. <laughs> we got you, Dave. Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks, guys. Oh, thank you. You turned up at just the right time. <laughs> Good luck, Charlie. To minus Thanks. eight for yeah, David well Howe. You can follow me anytime. <laughs> Welcome to the second day of the English Championship. So 121 to go, my dad. Sure. Lovely yeah, stuff. Enough. Another birdie chance coming up there for Andrew Johnston. Just outside the right, perfect weight needed. Very well done. Beautiful stuff from Johnston. He moves up into the lead now at 11 under par. Back-to-back -back birdies moves to minus 12. Lori Cantor, I said Dean Burmester was long. I think Lori Cantor appears to be even longer. Three exquisite little shots in there. Got it surrounded. Burmester, it's on its way. It's on its way. It's underground. Well done. Andy Sullivan. Lofting one into the par 4 13th. Oh, that's a peach. Tough pin to get to just above that ridge. Yes, here at uh, Hanbury Manor, where it's not quite bathed in as much sunshine as it was yesterday. Very low scoring if you've not been watching over the first two days. 73 players made the cut on minus five. Which has to be said, Tony, that's only one off the record. It's twice been six under on the European Tour, but it was getting close yesterday. Yes, we, we thought for most of the day it would get to six. A little bit of uh, wind just sprung up. And it's a little bit harder today and seeing a lot more bogeys today on the, on the leaderboard. Downhill sort of levels up at the cup a little bit. And Got a chance, wow. oh, more than a chance. Thank you. As you were saying, Tony, lovely start from Ategi. Birdie, birdie. This is his second to the third. Yeah, we have, I mean, you know, because of the opening first hole and the par five second reachable, we've seen quite a few guys open with three birdies this week. And that has ended up fantastically. That was not the plan, hence the smile. the local nine hole golf course to earn the money to to go and play out there so you know i think that shows a bit of desire yeah most definitely and won it won it by the way did i say that he you did say one it yes you did this is stephen brown from 190 yards get in oh oh there's your 62 from yesterday. Now Andy Sullivan here with the driver. He'll be aiming down the left side and he'll be trying to move this from left to right to get it to land softly with a bit of height. Yeah. 
Oh, and he's done it. Oh, look at that. That's incredible. What a wicked pin position. What a shot that is. Pick that up virtually. That's incredible, isn't it? 10 or 11 under par in the better ball. I remember that, yeah. I was just along for the ride. Long iron from Andy Sullivan into the ninth oh. green up the hill. Oh, that's a good break. <laughs> Unbelievable! You, did you didn't you wouldn't have seen his tee shot on the first? That's how you do it. Good afternoon everyone, beautiful day here for the final day of this English Championship. There is a little bit of breeze, we'll speak to the on-courses a bit later on to find out exactly what's going out condition or going on condition-wise out on the course. Fairway's very fiery. Shot of this English Championship for Hoygaard. Yeah, very well done. OK, missed one on the 16th, but his first three weeks in this UK swing. Yeah, good call, Jamie. In it goes. Otegi to minus 21. Two behind Andy Sullivan. Ball's a little bit below his feet in the perfect spot. 180 yards of the flag, just three yards beyond it. He's going to the bunker. Helping off the right. Nice for a fader. Oh, it's a beauty. You know, Boxy, it sounds perverse, but that holding that putt for a par will give you. It's in his hands now. Yeah, it sure is. If he can just the next four holes, nudge it into this distance, give himself chances, make no mistakes. And maybe grab one on the way in, you beauty. That is seriously valuable, Birdie Putt. 25 under, and suddenly he's got a four-shot lead back. Incredible, isn't it? That's in their garden, though. Mr. McGregor's garden. He hasn't, has he? Oh, oh yes! Oh, oh, you beauty. 26 under, five ahead now, Adrian Otegi. Three birdies in the last four holes. God, you can have my ball. I am tempted to say game, set and match, Boxy. And seven it is. An Englishman wins the 2020 English Championship. Andy Sullivan, fourth win on tour. And what a performance. Seven shot victory. And I think he's quite emotional and I don't blame him. Absolutely buzzing. <laughs> oh man. These are the standings in the qualification for the US Open 2020 at Wingfoot. And Andy Sullivan does go to the top there. And that's how the race Dubai rankings look. Hogarth's moved, or Hoygar, I should say, get it right, Richard, has moved up to six. Tom Lewis, McDowell, Van Ryan, and Tommy Fleetwood all moved down a spot. To watch another European Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.